In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up multiple ins installs of OBS Studio. So let's get into it. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Osh Morgid, And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up multiple installs of OBS. Just a fair warning, please Excuse my camera quality, now my DSLR is not working. I will get it fixed as soon as I can. So, let's get into it. So first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up File Explorer and you want to is, you want to open up two instances. So I have got two instances on here. Put this one over to here put the other one over to here, it should automatically do it. And now you want to go ahead and find, and now, and now you want to find is your, where your OBS installer is. So go to, it's usually in this PC, C drive, program files, and it should be OBS dash studio. Now then you want to go ahead and find out where you want to put it. So find a place where you want to put it. So I'm going to put it in here, in stores, in Okay. You want to enter this folder and you want to go ahead and you want to right click this folder and throw it into here. Press copy here. And then when you're in here, we do not need this one anymore. So go ahead and right click and press properties. You want to rename this one to OBS Studio. You can add a one dot OBS Studio. I like to add one dot so it's organized. So yeah, and then dash whatever, okay? So I'm gonna add my camera, so I'm gonna put tutorial camera. I'm going to add display actually. So my preferences I'm going to add is one for OBS, one for my display and one for my camera. And now copy the name of it and copy it and paste it and then just copy it. Now go into here and press bin 64 bit. You should find OBS 64. Go ahead and put it on your taskbar. Now it should make a link. Now go ahead and right click it, press properties, and then press, pro and then you want to go ahead and go to general. You want to control V into here. Now if you press OK and open it, it'll open it as a as as your main like as a o, how OBS is like okay so to do this you want to go ahead and wait for this to close down You just want to go back into that properties and you want to change is this line. So change it to dash dash portable and then press apply and OK. Open it and now here it is. This is a completely new one. OK, so just saying you do need to have OBS installed that is it so you can use OBS your so your main one so the one what you installed first as your display and then the one what you created from that one as a 
as a, a camera one. Now, just a saying, it is going to be really hard to press record at the exact same time. So I would add hotkeys onto it, okay? So you can press one hotkey, add it to your stream deck or whatever, and you're done. Now there is a problem, if you wanted to go to your stream deck software and you wanted to add is an OBS layout, so where is OBS? You can't just press record here and think, oh, it's going to work. Just one open, it won't. Okay, so there is some sacrifices you have to make. So you need to do a workaround. So if you've got that feature, what well, you can... Yeah, I'm not going to get too much into any more details. Now, one more thing. If the folder of the install, new install has a config folder, just delete that. I do that for every single one of mine, all right? So that is it of today's video. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please hit that subscribe button for more tutorials and epic videos just like this one. Thanks so much for watching. More videos on screen. I'll see you over there. Peace out. Whoa.